Inventory in Extra Chef creates a digital way to track your stock and adds a layer of automation and insight into your ingredient usage. To begin taking inventory in Extra Chef, you'll first need to complete three steps. Creating an inventory area, establishing a count list for that area, and finally, completing your physical inventory counts. Please note, before beginning, you will have first needed to create products. We also recommend uploading invoices. This way, Extra Chef can begin tracking your costs for inventory items and ingredients. All set? Let's get started. Begin by logging in and selecting Inventory through our navigation menu. Here, you'll see your inventory page. If this is your first time setting up inventory in Extra Chef, you'll be guided through the process. To start this guide, select Set Up Inventory. Then, choose your inventory area. You can choose from preset options like walk-in, cooler, and more, or choose custom area to create a space with a custom name. Then select next. You can also create sublayers within your inventory area to help make things even more organized for your inventory takers later on. To do this, select the plus icon and name your sublayer. Select next to assign area details. Here, you can set your inventory schedule, which establishes how often you want this count to be taken on a recurring basis. Choose from daily, weekly, monthly, or according to your accounting cycle, and indicate a start time. Then assign users and roles. This grants access to specific users in your account to complete these inventory counts. Here, you can choose a specific employee or indicate that anyone with restaurant manager access in your Extra Chef account can complete this count. When you're all set, select Save, then select Next, then Review, and select Finish. This will create your inventory area. After completing the initial area setup walkthrough, your inventory page will appear a bit different. You will now see a series of options such as inventory counts, count lists, area setup, just to name a few. Select Area Setup to create any additional inventory spaces. Begin by selecting the Add New Area button. Here, you can select a new type of space. Select Next, then add your users. Select Create. This will create the basic structure for your inventory area. To continue, select the Expand icon next to your new area and continue by assigning vital area details such as any sublayers and your inventory schedule. Please note, you can come back to area setup later on and change or tweak these details if needed. When you're all set, select Save. This will finalize your additional inventory area. Now, we will need to assign an actual count list to this area. To do this, select Count List. Then, find your inventory area and select Create New. Here, you can drag and drop products into your inventory area. If you created nodes within your inventory area, you could assign products to those specific sublayers here as well. Continue to add products until your list is complete. Then, select Publish. This will make it active and available for counting. With your area of setup completed and count lists created and published, you're all set to take inventory. To do this, select Inventory Counts. Based on the schedule you set during area setup, you will begin to see action items appear in the calendar on the left-hand side of your screen. Previous or current action items will be marked with a red color coding, whereas days with future actionable counts will be marked with blue. You can select dates on that calendar for more details by calendar day as well. But by default, any counts that are due today will show up automatically. To complete an inventory count, select the Expand button. then. Select Add Inventory and Start. Then go item by item and indicate how much of each you have on hand. Please note, if you have added invoice items to your products and item review, you may be able to account according to more than one unit of measurement. Once you're finished with your inventory count, select Submit. Want to learn even more about inventory in Extra Chef? 
join one of our expert-led webinars, or visit related articles in Toast Central.